oh, oh. Hey. Cosmetics? Talents? Hello? Open. Open. I want the talums. Talums? 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 Talums. No talums. What is this? No. I must help talums. That works surprisingly well. Talums. 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 Ah. Talums. Oh. Oh. This one has a golden bow, right? What if we break it on the tree? Will it give us talums? Give me talums. No! Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be, well, going through the third trial. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know I will be releasing a video here soon mentioning a giveaway on Talum so that you guys can get cosmetics. Because I did notice in the a Township Tales official, um, I don't know, skin release, um, people are like, oh, too bad I can't afford it. And I'm like, well, good thing it's Christmas. So we're going to give away some, well, we can't really give away the cosmetics, but we can give away some talons so that someone can get cosmetics, you know? So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Also today, we are going to be going through our, uh, third trial today. And we actually had an assistant video, um, someone else made and let me clip out of it. So... Yeah, that was really cool of him. But, uh, anyways, guys, let's get to it. Talums! Alright, guys, so we are starting here in the main room. This is all stuff that I teleported in this purple and the pedestal thing here. They don't do anything. Um, but yeah, you got these boxes here, and that is where you will be storing your items that you collect. Um, if you have a big enough group, you don't need to, but this definitely helps with people that don't have enough uh, storage. So, yeah. Also, anything important that you might not want to lose if you die, head put in there. But we got the cores that we need and stuff. So, I'm going to put the extra stuff in there just in case I die. Because even in God mode, I have died a few times in here. I have speed 4. So, I can run real fast and teleport far. Yeah, let's get this started. So first thing you'll see in here, main door, that's where you'll end up at. Um, you gotta get both of these pedestals blocks. Um, there's two puzzles, two main puzzles to do. And uh, killing all these terabatas is how you open up the second one in my case. You can do them in either order I think, but I mean, I've always done it this way. And uh, yeah. So we'll head on in here, and you can see I've been in here before, uh, just a bunch of items that I've been making. Um, but yeah, this puzzle here, you got all these levers here with lights above them, and uh, they used to be torches, but they changed them to lights. The way it works is any like light adjacent to the one that you pull is going to light up, and you want all of the lights lit. All right. So, theoretically, this corner light should have done it, but for some reason, it didn't go across until I undid it. I don't understand that. But, anyways, we do that one, and then you'll see that one across undoes it. So then we do this one. I don't know. I don't know what order to do it in. It's a puzzle, right? So you kind of have to figure out the puzzle yourself. But the goal is to get all the lights lit. So I suggest starting from the corner and working your way out. Make sure the corners are lit. And then... Let's see here. And then I go zigzag if you can. So you can see if I pull this one here. That turns that one on, but it turns off this corner. Now I'm back to this corner, right? So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to zigzag across diagonally, and then, let's see here. 
We're gonna pull this one, that'll shut that off. So we'll go diagonally across. That'll turn this one off, but turn that one back on. And then we go over here. This one should turn that one on. And then it didn't go diagonal for some reason on this. And it didn't uh, jump across on that. I don't understand the end one. Sometimes they go across, sometimes they don't. But yeah, there you have it. So now we are going to take care of these guys. The way this puzzle works is these guys keep spawning in waves. And even if you don't kill them off, they'll keep spawning. So you really do want to finish them all off. Um, the best strategy I've seen is two or three people kill these guys while one person uh, does the puzzle. So if you have air slash, you could probably take a bunch of them out at once. But yeah, that's the puzzle there. They'll stop spawning once you complete it, but until then they'll keep spawning. And now we are on to the second part of this. So there is another puzzle, but it's not in this area. Now over here you will see we have these bridges. We'll get to that later, that little tunnel. And then you have a climbing area over there. So there is stuff for climbers if you know we have a climber in the group and you can get extra loot um, there are let's see here so there's that door and I know there's a room behind it because someone's been behind it before but I don't know how to open it I have not seen any solution for it yet so yeah I don't I don't think there's a solution for it yet it also might be an RNG thing where sometimes it opens up sometimes it doesn't I don't know but if we go over here you can see that way is how you get to the climbing area it starts there and goes along to the top and uh, let's see here we're just gonna jump down here because I've got mode on so fall damage doesn't do anything the lava will still kill me though so but there's the climbing spot there and let's see here so you can see this is the main room this door doesn't open or anything you can't really do anything with it so yeah I think it's just uh, aesthetic thing and then over there let's make our way and actually you can see where I've been here before uh-huh so we're gonna go ahead and grab this as soon as you grab this Indiana Jones style it'll uh, trigger this thing now once this happens I suggest just running for it although if you have a group of people you guys can fight them off but you know you can also just run from them although there's a lot of them so Yeah, you can see you'll probably get hit a few times even if you don't try to. Oh, we fell all the way down. Alright, we're going to put this cube up here on this one right here. You can see that's lit up now. We just need that one. To get to that trial, we need to kill all of these guys. All right, now that all of our guys are dead, you can see this door here is open. So once this door is open, you can get to the second puzzle here. Um, you just come on over here. This isn't really, like there's not much of anything here. But you can see this is where I actually died earlier. Um, one of the previous times that I came through here. Which is weird because certain items are still around, but other items like my backpack are gone. Alright, so once you get over here, you'll pull this lever, but be careful. It won't open the door right away. You'll have to fight these guys. Dynamite's really good. Um, you'll obviously have to keep a distance, so maybe that air slash will come in handy, but... 
I don't have it, so you know, dynamite's my next best bet. You can see I threw one in the lava to ignite and then summit his feet. I think these guys only take three to kill him. Yeah, that guy only took three. Oh, and sometimes they'll fall through the floor like that. Um, but over here the floor seems to be close enough to where it'll still go off. Some of these guys didn't go as easily, but you can see here, I'm just tossing these in, right? And they're not really doing much right on top of him. He keeps punching him, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> it's like, that's a, not the purpose of it, it's supposed to go off. And there he goes. So if you have him right underneath him, it seems to do the three. If they're off to the side a little bit, then it seems to take more. But yeah, I'll just throw one right there. Oh, he just hit one. Yeah, they can punch him out of the air, and when they do that, it ignites them. So you want to be careful with this uh, trial here, right? But, I mean, if you're a solo player, I suggest Air Slash or Dynamite, you know. Those are the two safe ways to go. Once you kill all those guys, you're done. Um, yeah, that's it for that area. You get two worm or three worms that spawn in here. Three? Maybe there's four. I don't quite remember. Um, Air Slash basically any arranged attack. I guess this would be a good time for you to use bows again. Although I don't know how effective bows are. Um, and, you know, that's a lot more work than getting air slash. So, you know, either that or you can just dodge the one while you kill the two. Because you can't reach the one until you turn that thing around. That one over there. And you do need to get over there, so... You can see the steam elevator there. We're gonna kill this guy here. And hop on over here. And... He's dead. Cool. So now you want to turn this thing around and uh, you can start just by turning this. You don't have to lift it at all. So it should be easy enough, right? Get it over there. Then you go up and across. You could lift it, but you can also just teleport once you get across. There's nothing in these tubes. Um, you can see they just kind of dead end there. Yeah, so wall, that's all there is. Uh-huh, so this is how you get to that third worm um, if you couldn't teleport across the entire gap. Uh, and then you go up this steam elevator here. And the steam will do damage. I think it does a bar every time it hisses at you. Um, it won't kill you. Now, this door is closed for me. It's been open for other people. Um... Yeah, I don't know if there's a condition for that or if it's just RNG, so that might just be RNG. Um, you'll have to play through it to see if it's open for you, but yeah, for me it was not open. So you pull that lever there, or you don't, wait, what, huh? Hold up. You, 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 you pull that lever there. There we go. Now you pull this lever, right? That door's gonna fall closed. I mean, that's fine. So you'll pull this lever here. And then you'll run back. And lift it up again. 
It's easier with more than one person because they can hold the door open for you. You open that one there, and voila. Now you got the steam vent, you pull this lever, it activates all the steam vents that aren't activated already. And you have a mithril terabata up here, you can fight him. Um, you could run around him as well, but yeah, I, I dealt with him as you can see here. If if it would ignite maybe hello hello nope hit hit this will work Yeet. oh he just knocked away the one I had bye bye and any minute now you can die buddy yeah, this guy took way more than normal. I don't know why, but for some reason he just did not want to die. But there he is, he's dead. So, now we have these gondolas, right? Now, the first video I saw did not have one working. No gondola on it was running. So, I cannot guarantee them to always be there, but they've been there for me each time. Um, and yeah, you should be able to ride across the gondola to get there. So, you just ride across. And then once you are across, you will see we are on the other side of the first puzzle here. You can't teleport through, sadly. Um, but, I mean, yeah, you can see right here, there's an invisible wall. So, we're here. And we grab this one. It lights that path up that activates the elevator. Elevator has to come up before you hop down there. I'm just going to toss that down there for now. And, uh, yeah, we have some spots to show you. So you can see from here, there is a chest there, right? So if we can teleport there, I know we can. Or what you can do is you can come over here between these um, gondola pads and just fall down. And voila. So you'll have, what, crystal some fuel cores a bit of gold yeah a little bit of stuff not a ton um and then i think you can fall down there so just don't don't try it i mean you could try it i don't care that's up to you and then up here you will see there's a bunch of mithril for you to mine just across from there and uh let's see here yeah so we got mithril here and then behind us here, there is a chest. You can see more crystal, you know, silver. Just a little bit of stuff here and there. It's not a lot of stuff, but it's something, you know. And, yeah, that... So this is how we went through there. That is not open. Um, there are two chests to the left and right there. But... For some reason that was closed when I went through. Alright. So once you've completed this room here. You will uh, come on back out here. And yeah I don't know why you can't go into the tunnels there. But those are the two chests there. In those tubes. Um, but anyways you'll come back into this room here. Main room. And you want to make your way up. Head up there now. You can still hear those guys going off. They don't just despawn until you complete the challenge, right? But anyways, we have got our second cube that opens that up and sends a bridge across. And uh, yeah, that is 
pretty much it. Alright, so this vent in the puzzle room here that we looked at before, we were actually able to explore now. Um, before you couldn't because the steam wasn't going, but when we were in the second puzzle, we unlocked this room. And this room's pretty good. I mean, I think it's pretty good. So you open up the chest here. Oh, there's a blueprint out of the chest. We'll open this one up for good luck, huh? So in here, you'll just find the typical, you know, crystal, fuel cores. Then in this one, here you will find a Valiant Blade. A, yeah, look at that. I don't know what is it a breaker blade I don't know Valiant blade um, some mithril fuel cores and uh, you can see there that they're different so it's for sure Valiant and then the mithril we got another one of those cores and we also have a Hebios um, blueprint so there's two other blueprints here but I mean that's not a big deal to me to me it's the Hebeo stuff. Although, if you have extra space, you know, it's nice. Alright, so once you're at the end here, you have your uh, crystal there. Um, and, let's see here. We got the pedestal, just like always, gives you your extra two hearts. And, uh, yeah, we got two chests here. So, let's get those opened up. You can see this one's kind of basic. It has four cores, so you could farm this place again for the rest of the loot. Um, you got a bunch of coal in here. You have, I think it's Soul's weapon. I think that's what the guys said in the video I watched. Um, I don't quite remember, but <laughs> he he did not like Soul's weapons, so that was kind of funny. But yeah, that is cool if you don't like it you can break it down for the valley and all that right you get 30 geodes and let's check this one out you get a bunch of ingots and gold coins in this one so we got valiant silver uh, mithril you can combine the two I like how they do that so that you know that they combine like that um, we'll get rid of those and get rid of those you can also just toss these in if you want a fireworks show all right and once you are completely done just like always you will stand on this it'll teleport you out to the front and uh, yeah you can run back in if you left anything in the chest in here um, you know if you forgot anything in here um, but yeah that's pretty much it that's everything except for the climbing and that one room that was closed so hopefully you guys enjoyed that all right well that's pretty much it um, we got the both puzzles done we finished it we didn't get the climbing or that one room um, I will be showing you guys someone else's video where they did a playthrough of it and uh, hopefully that'll be helpful. You can see they're using air slash for pretty much everything. And that seems to be effective. That seems to be what everyone likes to do. Here is the first thing that they do that I think that you guys will be able to benefit from. Um, those of you that are climbers, you can climb that middle thing there. And then you can see he's got this tunnel open actually. Mine wasn't open for some reason. Again, I have no idea what will cause it to open or not open um i didn't see them do anything to open it but hey who knows right so they come on in here and they open the chest and what do you see two valiant i don't know what they're called axe handle things or blades um you can melt it down for valiant for whatever tool you want but it's valiant nonetheless and in the other one it's just crystal a little bit of gold you know the typical chest. Now, what you'll see in their version of this place is that they don't have the gondolas. Um, I don't know what happened there, but they just don't exist for them. So, yeah, I 
I have no idea if that's going to be a normal thing or if they just ran into a bug. Um, but yeah, there is no gondola for them. So they had to take another way around. So here you can see, since the gondola is down, this is the other way up. You kind of make your way over the pipes and along the side here. And that is how you get up there. Um, you can do that either way, but because the gondola is gone for them, they don't really have a choice. And I just want to give a big thanks to Darkling Bird 8 for making this video and letting us use it. Um, if you guys want to see the entire thing, he's actually the one that got into that secret room. So go ahead and check out his video. But yeah, I mean, that that's the place. I think the one thing they need to add is a pedestal at the beginning of each of these puzzles. So that if you die, you can respawn there. And have it like a one-time use so you will respawn once instead of having to run all the way down the caves um, because you know if you die in this place not only do you have to run down into the caves but you also have to get back to where you died and so you basically just lost your stuff forever right um, either that or make your stuff just spawn outside of the puzzle that way if you die you can run down in the caves and get it back um, but yeah going all the way down just to get your stuff like you know you, you can't always get multiple of whatever weapon it is the katanas especially are great so if you get the katanas I think that's probably that and air slash will be good so yeah um, that that room over there uh, I think it's RNG I don't know um, but I did see some other guys go in there I couldn't get in there it was closed and yeah I couldn't couldn't get it open or anything I don't have climbing but there's you can't climb that shaft in the middle so you know hopefully you guys have just as much fun as I did probably even more because you know I'm in god mode so it's kind of too easy but um, yeah so anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, I also have to show you off the crystals and stuff. So the first level crystal, obviously that'll unlock the first level uh, tier of metals and alloys. Um, you don't need to do these all at once. You can do them one at a time. So that'll just unlock those and uh, same with the others, they will unlock their tiers, but you don't need to have them in all at once to get them working. But you just put the first one to the left, second one to the right, and the third one will go right in the middle. Just like that. But next video, um, we'll probably do, I don't know, what do you guys want to do? It probably won't be till January. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really gotten much farther than <laughs> the combat trials. I mean, we could do commands. Like I could start doing command tutorials if you guys want to do like private servers and stuff. Um, I don't know. So we got a little bit to work through. So uh, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.